Well, today, President Biden visited North Carolina and South Carolina to look at the damage from Hurricane Helene. More than 175 people have died in six states. Many more are still missing, and there's now a desperate search for survivors. Because of how widespread and devastating the hurricane was, the American Red Cross is making an urgent plea for more volunteers to help out at disaster shelters in impacted areas. Your reporter Ashley Portillo spoke with Colorado volunteers who are on the ground. Norman Diva. I'm from Broomfield. And Pam Pickle are both local. And I live up by Red Feather Lakes. But now they're two of about 30 Coloradans on deployment, helping in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. And doing what we can do, whatever's needed. That's the, the main thing. Just jump in, work hard, do what needs to be done. The two arrived Saturday to Morganton, North Carolina. So we're working with the clientele um, that they have no power, so they're all oxygen dependent. They've joined more than 1,000 Red Cross volunteers from across the country to provide relief in disaster hit areas. This is a very large scale operation from Florida all the way up to uh, North Carolina. And Josh Angbert with American Red Cross of Colorado and Wyoming said, and their focus is helping people at nearly 70 shelters across 10 states. Many have lost power, many have lost their homes. They need a safe, warm place to go. They're providing a warm meal. They're providing emotional, physical support. But because the hurricane devastated 500 plus plus miles across the southeast, more help is needed. We're not going to be there just for the next two weeks. We're going to be there for weeks and months. The American Red Cross now calling on local volunteers. We can only do so much with, you know, the resources we have. Pam and Norman say it's a labor of love and compassion. Very humbling, but gratifying at the same time. That's the reason I joined the Red Cross is just to help people. Oh, we so love those Red Cross volunteers. Thank you. We just got this update as well from Task Force One with West Metro. Now they sent help to McDowell County, North Carolina. Task Force seen there conducting a widespread search in an area that you can tell was hit so, so hard.